And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, today we're taking a look at Dixit Revelations. This is an expansion for Dixit or Dixit Odyssey or whatever Dixit. It gives you more uh, cards and essentially if you look at the rules of this game, they are in many different languages just saying, hey folks, here's more cards. So when it comes to Dixit, the game itself was designed by the original designer, but this one we're looking at the artist, and it's Marina Kudre, I believe is how you say her name. And I looked her up online, this is the only Dixit expansion that she has done. And in fact, I don't know what, she. I, I found her webpage with her artwork on, but I don't think she's done art for games before, which is a shame because uh, this is some pretty good artwork. In fact, well let me show you the cards first, and then I'll come back. So I'm just going to show you some of the cards here, and then I'll, at the end I'll show you my 10 favorite cards for no reason at all. Uh, the one thing I guess that's special about this set, it's hard maybe to see here, but you can see there's gold foil printing on some of the cards, not all of them. Like, for example, this one here, the stars are in that gold foil printing. Uh, so that's kind of neat. Uh, this one's really creepy. That's a carrot lady who's peeling herself. That's very, really... Um, Disgusting. And this one's another creepy one. That lady, when she takes her face off, it's has is like space or something. That boy, I feel like he wants to get outside, but he can't. It's really sad. I don't know if he's trying to escape or not. Is this way out west or is it? This one is. What is that guy doing on the iPhone? Here's another one with the gold foil. That's another one I really like. I don't. I just like the 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 castle in the clouds. It's raining, and then there's a farmer down there cutting. Uh, one of the things I like about cards like this, and you'll notice, and here's another, that's just, this card is just beautiful. This is one I would put on my wall, how, how much I like that one. Um, one of the things that I like about these are when you sit there and you wonder, what is the story behind a card? Or in the case of like this one here, what? You know, <laughs> and really, uh, there's been a lot of different artwork in Dixit, and I feel like this artwork is probably the closest to the original Dixit cards. There's just some great stuff. Here's another one with the gold foil, the peacock feathers on it. And so I really just like looking at these at these cards and just seeing the difference and kind of imagining, you know, like why is that boy there? What's what's happening? Did he have a bad day today? So let's see here. It's another iPhone. I believe there's iPhones on like three cards or something. Like what is that boy seeing that's making him pause. Here's a puzzle piece with the, the musicians of, of Bremen. Um, that's kind of a weird, cool card. This guy's running. This one, is that a Stargate with the different symbols that he's going to? His hand is turning to gold. Is it gold scale? All right. So lots of cool cards here. I know I'm going through these pretty quickly, but I mean, basically, you're going to buy a, an expansion for Dixit or you're not. So we're kind of just showing you the artwork, and then you can decide whether this is an expansion for you. All right, so let's show you now my 10 favorite cards in no particular order. I like this one because it has scissors running, and you should never run with scissors. Uh, <laughs> there's so many different ways for this one to be made into some sort of pun. This one here, I don't know. Was that clown rejected? Is this one of the episodes of The Twilight Zone? Uh, it, it, I don't know. There's just so many unanswered. I just keep looking at that one. This one here, the Coca-Cola bear has retired from Christmas. I don't know. I just like Christmas in general. This one I find, I don't know. There's just so many things about this picture. I look at it and I see the, that whirlwind in the background. And there's the lady. She looks content, but she folded a paper airplane. But maybe she's not old after all. And there's a picture. Who's on that picture? And where is she? This one I just like because all these things in the tree, there's pictures and there's a bike in the tree and a wagon wheel and there's two boys reading a book. Is this book bringing these things? Are they inside or outside? I'm not even sure. This is one that's just a really cool card and this one's hard to, to see. Let me see if I can get it closer to the camera so you can kind of see. This one here, it shows, a, a, it looks like a ghost dancing, 
But here the gold foil, you'll see as I move it, the gold foil shows both her and him. And it's almost an optical illusion in the sense of, is that her face or his face or both? And I don't know, there's just something really cool about this particular card. All right, then we got this lady here who's king of the chess and making the chess knight kneel to her. I think she's on a chessboard. I don't know, there seems to be some sort of story. This one's just weird in general. A snake is going down the road, but there's invisible dishes of food and plates. Here's another one with, I feel like there's some story. This feels like a Hans Christian Andersen thing. There's the, the ballerina and the one-legged knight, and they're both in bottles, and crabs are walking along, and we don't know. And this one here just has different things. This one is like, what is this? Uh, is it, you pin my heart? Uh, it, what are these? Is this, is this a, I don't know. What does that say down there? That is a hundred, uh, I'm sorry, that's 19, 100, and... 45? I don't know what that means. But anyhow, those are just some of my cards that I like a lot from the set. So yeah, I actually think, and I could be wrong here, but I think that this is the best artwork for me in the series since the original set. I really like this. I, I don't know what, her artwork has that mix of whimsical, and I don't, like I said, many of these cards, I look at them and I wonder, what is the story behind that card? Okay, maybe this is the most frameable version of Dixit, I guess. But either way, it is fantastic artwork. It is great to always have more cards in Dixit. Love this. They, I, you know, you wonder, like, how far are they going to go away from Dixit? Because some of the expansions, the cards were a little bit different than the original Dixit ones. This one, I feel, harkens back to that original one. And I like it a lot. And if you like Dixit at all, get it. Dice Tower of Judgment, into my collection. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Shut the door. Yeah.